Uh, so there was just a couple things that I just discovered about some smoke detectors that I have that you guys probably didn't know actually so this video I'll be showing you guys actually all right uh, here's the kitty uh, kitty carbon monoxide alarm uh, I didn't think I, I don't think I showed this to you guys yet I just got it uh, like a couple months ago model kn slash cob slash dp2 plug in I just had it plugged into my wall runs on two AA batteries and here's a little secret that I found out about it see this little tab right here this little switch thing that's like a tamper resist feature so like if anyone like disconnects it from the uh, outlet or something it'll like activate a continuous alarm but in case if you accidentally do that in case if you accidentally do that, there's like a, a way that you could like shut that off before it even like bugs you or something. So here we just activate it. Alright, see now it'll like light up a red light. Now you're gonna want to hold that little button in, and it shuts it off. And it's like back to normal because usually it would say that you gotta plug it into an outlet or something, but you just click this in case if you accidentally do it. And then let go of it. I'm just gonna shut it off before anything else happens. There we go. Nope, did it shut off yet? Ah, come on. There we go. Now I got it off. Right now. Anyway, with and now, uh, with. Hold on, wrong one. Now, if in case of your like smoke detector is chirping, and then if it's like still chirping for a certain reason after you just disconnected the battery, here's what you gotta do. You gotta like take out, move the battery. Ah, it won't come out. All right, there it goes. Usually I gotta do that. Sorry if you think that I'm abusing it, but I'm actually trying not to. Then you gotta push the test button. You just gotta let go all the power. So, and now that it's like that, and then if you wanna put it back on your ceiling or wall, but the, look, the little drawer wouldn't close. So, here's what you gotta do grab something that's a little thin. Ugh, God. Sorry about that. Just phone fell. I'll pick it up right now as soon as I get this done. pretty hard to do this with just a small little hand, you know? Alright, got that little thing closed. Now the drawer's closed, you can put it back on. So, alright, so that's about it. And now for, now in case you even want to like test a hardware detector, like if you, here with this one for example, like if you just want to like test it, like if this one doesn't have a backup battery, even though this one does have a backup battery, and if you would like think of plugging it, plugging it in, I don't know if any of you guys did this. Now this is sort of like a bad thing, so don't do it. You just like plug in the little hard wiring. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, and then you could just uh, just plug it into the initials. Here, there it goes in positive, and then negative will go in. The here, there we go. There we go. That thing. I let go of it. All right. Uh, here it goes. There we go. Ah, it's just it's kind of loose, but still, just trying to do it. You see, like the little light turns on and it gets power. And then when you disconnect it, just yes of course it does have that also that backup power so you're gonna want to click the button on that see yeah but try not to do that you could like do it for a little while but don't do it for like a long time like don't keep it like that because it could cause sparks or something and that won't be good oh my god it's chirping don't worry it'll go away it'll go away and now oh same as with this one also this one does of course have battery backup and add this battery plugged onto it 
Now, the same thing as what I told you. Oh, come on. Sorry about that. Just trying to get it plugged in. There we go. Now, like, in case you just want to see that little green light turn on, you could, you just, you could just, yeah, just, I mean, like, it's okay if you just, like, do it for a little while, but you're gonna want to do it on one of these small little outlet things, and see the little green light turns on, you get to power, All right, then after, like, a little while, you're gonna want to disconnect it, like, just like what I told you earlier, and yeah, like I said, and yes, again, the backup power, ouch, pretty loud, that was pretty loud, actually, not that bad but yeah just it's good to do it for like only like a small amount of time but don't do it forever and now this is a bad thing actually you know how you have your kitty can slash comb slash ba well you know how you can just run it with just two double a batteries and it'll activate the voice see but if you like disconnect it ouch it has the backup power also. If you just disconnect it, and if you, I don't know if any of you guys ever did this before, but this is kind of like a dumb and a bad idea. If you just put in a 9 volt battery, it won't activate the voice. But that's actually a bad thing, because you'll overvolt the alarm. See, it like, keeps a whole bunch of power in there, but don't ever do that, so just warning you guys, tell you don't do it by accident, and then, yeah, something bad happens. Just do this for a warning, you know? Gotta protect all those YouTubers out there. And now, with this one, now Cameron Avery, I did read your comment that when I'm gonna upload a video, well, this is it. And there's something that I commented it on your video that's called My New Smoke Alarm 2. There's something that you didn't know, and I sent this to you on the comment. See this little gray uh, thing? Well, if you open it up. You know, remember this one little red light that doesn't flash? Well, that little light that doesn't flash? Well, guess what that is? That's a remote test sensor. So if, you ever, like, if you're ever like up high and you can't reach the button, just grab a TV remote. I'm using this one as a sample. And then... Just... Put it, you just gotta, uh, hold on, I'm just trying to balance my phone. Yeah, then you just gotta, you gotta aim, you gotta click any up button. You, if you, you could re originally click the original up button, or you could click any other button. Now, just aim at it directly, like, hold it in. Aim at it. It takes a little while, actually. See? That's the remote test feature. Let's do that again. Click it. Hold it in until the alarm sounds. It takes a little while, I know. I don't know if some of you guys are impatient. And if that doesn't work, click it again. See, you just either got to click it twice or, yeah, just hold it in until the alarm sounds. Now, yeah, so that's like a little secret that you should try doing. Just grab any TV remote, hold any up button, aim at the gray thing, or the little sensor in here. It's like right there next to the test button, that little light that doesn't turn on. All right? Yeah, because the first alert still has some of those remote test features, like with this one. See that little hole? Yeah, you could still test it with this one. But if, but if, what if? The PC900V is the same as this one, cause except this one has a female voice. What if it has the remote test feature? I'm going to have to do that one day, actually. And now, last but not least, the kitty uh, worry-free uh, worry alarms. It has to be these kind, actually. Now, if it's the model P30110B, or 0B, you actually are kind of like in good luck because you see this little switch right here it says you got to shut it off if you turn it off it shuts off permanently well you don't have to worry about that actually because because that's what there is actually if you see this one triangle right here like when you twist 
We need to twist the mounting bracket on here, actually. Here we go. Just gotta get it out. You could, and then if you don't want to shut off the alarm permanently, just flip it to the other side of the on button. Don't flip it to the off button. Flip it to where the, where flip it to where the triangle is. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it right now. All right, it's, it's off now. So yeah, so it's off right now. Now if you, and then in case of you want to turn it back on or in case of you forget to turn it on you can either flip it on the switch right here just put it to on or you can just uh put it on here you can just put the mounting bracket on and now it's back on so yeah that's like a little secret that i found out about these worry free alarms so if you're worried about turning it off forever don't flip it to the off switch flip it to the other side of it so yeah, alright, and now, so yeah, that's pretty much a couple things that I noticed about those smoke detectors, so, well, except uh, for this one, overvolting, and this one, don't have it wired onto an outlet for a long time, so yeah, I just hope you guys liked it, please comment, of, and of course, what I always said, subscribe to it, alright, alright, like,